This is Twit. Uh, word of warning from bleeping computer. I, this was inevitable. Uh, Microsoft has turned on, and I've heard a lot of annoyance about it, um, the ad for Windows 11. If you're still running Windows 10, you're going to get a pop-up saying, hey, you could get Windows 11. Sometimes even if you can't, by the way. <laughs> but uh, uh, now there uh, are bad guys out there. We call them threat actors. And uh, I'm not talking Sylvester Stallone here. These are bad guys who have started distributing pop-ups that look like their Microsoft pop-up saying, hey, it's here. You can install it, Windows 11, except when you click the link, it doesn't take you to a Microsoft site. It takes you to a site that looks just like Microsoft. Um, it, it used to be windows-upgraded.com. Uh, they obviously have shut, the good guys have shut that down, but there will be other sites. Can you tell the difference if you're a normal user from this and a Microsoft site? No. But if you click that button that says download now, you're not going to get Windows 11. You're going to get something called the Red Line Stealer, which, as you might uh, have guessed, that's a, that's a malware. Yeah. Um, <laughs> actually, uh, I thought it was going to be the name for the new Washington, the new name for the Washington football team, but no, it's not. It's uh, which would have been a good name, right? The Red Line Stealers, but uh, no. If, hey, if, Can if Canada can have two two football teams named Rough Riders, we can have two there you Steelers. go named Steelers. These are the Red Line Stealers. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you, you, I have to think people are falling for this right and left because it looks in every respect like a real thing. So just a word of warning. Tell tell your family and friends, people who don't, yeah, anybody who listens to any of our shows is too sophisticated to fall for that, I think. You'd think. I, mean, I have to say, though, I mean, with Microsoft, it, window, they're, they're getting a lot, they learned from the Windows 10 experience in that, even naggy though it is, it's less naggy than it was when Windows 10 came out and they were trying to get everyone to upgrade and they're not forcing stuff out on, on, on everyone. But yeah, I mean, looking at the, at the screenshots of what they're putting out, it's very convincing stuff. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm warning people, you know, warning my parents, just be careful on this one, just leave it alone. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's who, that's who you have to uh, talk to is normal people. I'm... I'm kind of an outlier here. I'm of the opinion no normal person should be using Windows. It, 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 honestly, <laughs> if 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 you're not willing to be a security expert, if you're not strongly motivated because, I don't know, what you need it for work or you're a gamer uh, and you're not willing to really kind of keep your eye out for stuff like this, you should be using a Chromebook or an I, you shouldn't be using Windows. It's just, it's too risky. Am I? Am I? Is that? I know that's kind of that's annoying when I say the, that. The, the 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 problem the problem is that a Chromebook or an iPad is a wonderful uh, wonderful substitute for uh, a desktop operating system until it isn't, and then you're really really hosed uh, when you when you've got when you when the only way you can uh, you can register for uh, for for COVID testing they're assuming that you've got an actual like desktop grade browser and desktop grade operating system. That's a problem. Uh, iPads more of a problem than Chromebooks, but uh, again, it's a great solution until it actually isn't. They're getting better, but it's still a problem. Okay, I guess my and, philosophy and if, is if you know. uh, I tell people, okay, don't buy Windows, but if you do, don't call me. Yeah, there's, there's still there's still going to be a lot of problems. They're still going to call you, Max aren't they? Well. Yes. Yeah, I mean it's it's not it's not as it's not as pure as it once was. I used to make I used to make the exact same thing. I would say I'll I'll great if you're looking for a laptop I'll help you. If you buy I, I used to be used to be I'll give you like three ser oh, three service calls on Windows Unlimited on Mac. And I started I stopped joking about that because not because I was not willing to help people uh, friends and family but because. I thought in modern times it gives people an uh, maybe inaccurate picture of how you know of, of how much stable and how much more secure and safe a Mac is. It used to be that wow, there there just is no malware out there for the Mac. Oh wow, there's just almost yeah, no. There really anymore. is nothing to think yeah, about. Yeah. yeah, so you can't be careful. I think general purpose operating systems, which of course have their place. That's how computing began, but they're general purpose. They're designed to let you do what you want to do. Yep. And that is inherently risky. And I don't think most people need more than a Chromebook. I mean, yes, you're right. If you suddenly yep. say, oh, "I'm oh, I've decided I'm going to create the next Oscar-winning film, you might need something more than a Chromebook. But most people just browse the web and do email and buy things on, you know, 
Yeah, out overstock.com. I mean, they don't I don't think they need um, Windows. And if that's all you do, you shouldn't you shouldn't. But I know, I know. Go ahead. Everybody yells at me. Yeah, when I you say that. yeah, you you have to remember <laughs> that companies dictate what computer systems you use at work, and a lot of professions still usually run on one dedicated app. And a lot of those are written for yeah. Windows. No, and I agree. Right? Especially that. in the medical community. But in so. that case, you probably have an IT department. If you don't have an IT department, you are the IT department. And you Yes, have, but yeah. that doesn't mean it makes it easier if your Windows is compromised or you haven't updated that month's security right. update and then right. there's an exploit. There's still pain.